hey, what's going on? I haven't posted a video in a while, and I wanted to do a quick update video and let you know what I've been up to and where we're at. And behind me here, you can see we're cranking out some of the new 9 millimeters, and I'll show you, show you what we got going on. Alright, so you can see I've bought a Swiss lathe, and we've got it cranking out the new 9 millimeter interceptors. And it's currently in there running them. This has been a long project. I've been working on this for about seven or eight months. You see here, we're we're running through our program. I've got my air compressors. And back here, you can see all the three-phase converter and everything I had to do to get this running in my house. And then we got a 12-foot bar feeder. And this is everything that I've had to set up to get going on the 9mm. Like I said, we've been working on this project for about seven months now since we've got the machine in the building or in the in the garage and we've ran into one issue after another. I ended up buying a bigger machine so I could do slugs and the 9mm. Plus we got a deal on this machine being used. As you can see it's not brand new and in pristine condition. But it runs great, it's holding tolerance is just fine, and it's making a real good looking 9mm. Um, but we had to get a bigger three-phase converter and upgrade a bunch of that kind of stuff. We had to get the machine installed. Then we found out that the, the machine installers weren't installing the bar feeder, which I was under the impression they were. So then we had to have the bar feeder guys come out and align and install the bar feeder to the machine and this little screen wherever my fingers at that screen right there is currently broken so I can't run bar feeder or the bar feeder where it will run continuous and it will run multiple bars and I'll throw in a little quick clip here of a time lapse of how I got to change out the bars so I'm able to run a hundred at a time right now until we can get that screen replaced and then It'll be up and running, and this thing will be able to sit out here and run 24 hours a day, or around, around 20 hours a day is what I'm hoping to get to. But when I started designing these 9 millimeters over a year ago, I uh, was trying to reach out to other companies to have, they or to have them turn them. Because not a lot of people know this, but I do all my design work, and then up to this point, I had farmed out the mass machining to another shop because I didn't have production machines. I had prototype, had access to prototype machines, but I couldn't do actual production. Well, nobody would quote my slugs or my nine millimeters because I actually became people's competition then. Nobody really competes with me with my shotgun slugs. I'm kind of the, the only one in that market. So I couldn't get them made and we decided to step up and and do this huge investment for the company and get this machine so that we could produce the nine millimeters ourselves. And we now have our nine millimeters on the market. So focus on that and that's what they look like. So if you want to jump over to the website, you can see what I've been working on and have been making videos in forever. And all the information is on the website and we have them up for sale now on Detroit Ammo Co and our other distributors will follow soon but this is what I've been working on and I will have more videos on it as I get uh, get more uh, slugs going and, and everything else going with it and we'll see where the where the company goes from here